The girl was found inside a house. I won't tell you the address. I have a hunch you already know. Why do you think that? Never mind. Anyway, she was naked, but there wasn't any sign of a struggle. There was a message written on the wall and on her back, too. That's all? That's all. Thanks, man. You're not gonna ask what the message was? Uh, oh yeah, what was it? You already know, don't you? Doc, <laughs> I'm an open book to you, man. One I've read too many times. explode today. What did you expect? The madness kicked in and he's gotta be at the PD. Deputy Malloy's blind drunk. Uh, what's the name of the old man's wife again? Uh, poor lady. Marsha. She was waiting here for a while too, hoping it'll only take a few minutes. But as soon as they saw the state Malloy was in, she got into a taxi and went home. So that's why the old hound's so angry. Please, boys, don't make him more so, all right? Unfortunately, I can't promise that, doll. As usual. Look what we found, Mom. Does this mean anything to you? It's beautiful. Embossed, gilded. These are rare. But I've never seen anything like this one before. Where is it from? I'm afraid that's a secret. At least for now. You haven't taken vital evidence from a crime scene, I hope. Oh, what are you thinking? On my feathers. You're gonna be in trouble, boys. Only if we don't wrap it up, Mon. Listen, Mon, uh, that girl they found in Flowerville. You've seen her, right? Yes, we were first on the scene. Boys, you know I should report you immediately, don't you? We know, Mon. We're only asking for a little more time. We're hot on the trail. If you learn anything, would you, uh, please tell us? Are you crazy? Hey, keep it down. Blood boils right behind us. Please, Mon. It's a matter of life and death. God damn. Okay. But only because I can see how much it means to you. Thanks, doll. We'll be forever grateful. Good old Filmar hasn't been sniffing around here recently. Yeah, he was here a week and a half ago. He used the archives and took out some public records. That's all? That's all. Oh, and uh, he asked me out for a coffee. I hope you said no. Why are you so interested, Marty? No, I'm not. I just... just... I told him no. Just like I told you no on all 25 occasions. <sighs> Glad to hear that. <laughs> You fucking friend! Can I be honest? I'm worried about you boys. You haven't gotten mixed up in some shady affair, have you? We have. Sorry, Mon. No, I could never lie to you. Well, then I strongly advise you to get yourself out of it because I'm not in the mood for your funeral, all right? Furry gods, don't be so extreme, Mon. It's just some routine sniffing around on New Year's Eve. You don't do routine, boys. When you're sniffing around, fire and chaos follow. Hey, you're not Meredith H. Marble, the author of the Chicken Police books, by any chance? That would have been a great blurb. I'm not joking, boys. Okay, Mon. We'll be careful. I hope so. You're on duty. Am I right? Yes, sir. But why the hell are you standing here? Don't you... I do, sir. Then fuck... Takes his one. Hey, old bird. 
What are you waiting for out here in the rain? Is that you, boys? I'm a little uh, tired. I can see that, pal. Oh, it's all right. I just can't find my car. I don't see very well in the rain. It's my eyesight's pretty bad. I should wear glasses. <laughs> Imagine that. A hawk wearing glasses. Yeah, it's funny. There ain't nothing funny about it, Snowflake. Oh, all right. Sorry. Have you seen uh, Natasha or Ibn since we left? Ibn? Ace got put off a long time ago. Natasha? I haven't seen her. Thanks anyway, pal. Uh, good luck with finding your car. You uh, want some help? Could it be that I didn't come here by car? What do you think, Sonny? Old friend? Well, I wouldn't know that, Phil, but uh, you take care, all right? Ah, you're telling me? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Sonny, pal, listen. Tell me, Phil. I like you. Really, I do. So listen here. Whatever happens, yeah? Whatever happens, never fall in love with that woman. You mean Natasha? Who else would I mean, bird brain? Okay, okay, Phil. I promise. <sighs> like hell. Maybe I came by bike. Bike, huh? I have a hard time imagining that, pal. Yeah, right. Me too. Maybe you flew, huh? Don't you provoke me, Marty. You hear? Hey, I was just kidding. Don't peck off my tail feathers, brother. Maybe I came by bike. Bike, huh? I... Hey, boys, tell me, is Natasha still inside? I can't give you any information about that, gentlemen. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, the regulations. I know. We've gotten used to it. I am glad to hear that. And your boss, Wessler? Can we find him in the VIP lounge? I'm afraid I can't tell you that either. But we can take a look for ourselves, right? No problem, gentlemen. Thanks, Wooly. Your friend's not the talkative type, is he? He understands what we're saying, right? Don't anger me, chicken, or I'll tear out your throat before you could say hemp seed. Ha, <laughs> just try, Fleabag. Hey, folks, relax. The night's still young. We'll have plenty of time to tear each other's throats out, but right now we're busy. Ha, <laughs> you're right. Bye, guys. Goodbye, gentlemen. Jack. Please don't call me that, sir. You're right. I'm sorry. Uh, what's your name again? Well, if you really must know, I'm Lance, sir. Okay, Lance. Listen, it's very important. Oh, please, sir. Don't get me involved in anything. I just want to get my shift over with and go home to sleep. Relax. There won't be a problem. Just answer the questions honestly. Oh. If I must, let's give it a try. Right, kid. Lance. Huh, Lance, yeah. So, have you seen Natasha since her performance? No, no, don't ask me anything about Miss Kitsenko and Mr. Wessler. It could cost me my job or even more. Hey, it's a matter of national security. It could be. Yeah, see, it could be. So, if you help, you won't only be helping us, but the Crown and the whole city of Clawville. Oh, okay, all right, just stop that chicken shed, will ya? 
I saw Natasha, yeah. She came down, spoke with someone, then stormed out the front door. And then what happened? She came right back in, two or three minutes later, soaked to the bone. She was in a hurry. She went up to her suite, then came back down and left. And you haven't seen her since? I genuinely haven't seen her ever since, sir. Thanks, Lance. You've been a great help. I'm happy to hear that. So Natasha had left. Seems so. But she never oh, arrived the at the Lincoln House. Again. Then? Then we'll stay with the original plan. We'll gather our thoughts at the office and go over everything we know. OK, okay Bosper, lead the way. If anyone asks, Lance, we were never here. Sure, sir. This guy was here before, right? He's handling it pretty well. And there are even more pretty dames all over him. You think they dig his antlers that much? More like his wallet, Marty. choice but to continue the investigation where it started. In that shady little apartment I called home. The only lead was the list Fillmore gave us, with all those imposing names on it. But what could it mean? And why did Natasha keep it secret from us? But most importantly, what did all this have to do with Deborah's death? The trail started to get cold and so did the air outside. There was something unsettling in the black clouds, hiding all the stars. I prayed that they didn't bring an early snowfall. The night was already painful enough. So, what are we doing here? Trying to calm down. I'll have a shot. Sure you will. And we're trying to put the pieces together, of course. Figure out what's next. And what is next, Boss Bird? Let's take a look at what we've learned so far. So, how did this whole case start? Deborah came to me. Deborah came to me, strange friend. Deborah came to me. Strange threats. Yes, that's going to be right. The fuck is wrong with you?
What the fuck am I meant to do here? You asked me how it fucking started. This is how it fucking started. The Deborah come to me, and then there was screen play. So fuck off if you don't want me to do. Well, I've literally remembered the entire fucking time. I didn't speak about. Natasha is terrified, and she's in real danger. But she kept this list hidden from us. It seems too important to keep it a secret.
it would be coincidental that he was right under my fucking nose the whole time. That's what it would have been. Alright? I know only one person who moves in circles high enough to know where it's from. Lewis. We must ask him if we want to get out of this dead end. Thank you. Foxy. It would be right under my fucking nose that he was the weirdo. So the card is uh, uh, maybe a dead end. The piece of painting, too. But the list Filmar gave us... Exactly. Full of those imposing names. And I only know one person who moves in similar circles. Lamar. Yes, Marty. It's Lewis. Exactly. Of course, it's Lewis. But where do we find the bunny man? Well, since he owns this building, I'm hoping he's here. It's worth a call. You know his number? By heart. Five... Could you come over to my place? I, uh, have a question for you. It's very important. It's about a case. Thanks, pal. I owe you one. Sometimes I feel a little bad about using him so much, but he's so eager to help, I wouldn't want to break his enthusiasm. Thanks, Lewis. Again. Oh, don't mention it. Besides, it was my big dream to help you with a serious case. Well, let's hope you can help. What can you tell me about this list, old pal? Hmm. Well, well. These names. I know half of them personally. Maybe even more. I knew it. But, but I have no idea what kind of list this is. Here we go. But these are all members of the upper cl cl class. Politicians, business people. Oh my. <clears throat> even the commander of the Royal Guard. Damn. But I really don't know what it means. So, is it a dead end? I'm a afraid so. Deborah, the girl who came to me tonight. Yes, she's a very lovely young lady. Where did you take her after you two left? Where she asked me to. To Flowerville. Flowerville? Rochester Street 37? Yes, exactly. Why? Luck. <gasps> Did something happen? Nothing good, Lewis. Nothing good. This? This? Oh, my goodness. I think we have a bingo, gentlemen. You see, I also have one of these. A card? Like this? Really? Y yes. It's a membership card to a very exclusive club. How exclusive? Very. That's what I'm talking about. What does SN mean, Lewis? It's the s s sweltering Nile. But that's a... Well, yes, it's a brothel, but it's not, not like that. It's something completely different. Calm down, Lewis. We're not going to tell anybody. Thank you so much. It is rather embarrassing. <clears throat> Listen, Lewis, how do we get in? Phew. 
want to get in? Well, if you could show them this card, they'll surely let you in, but it will be obvious you're not regulars there. We're used to that. So, are we going to a luxury brothel? Correct, Marty. Thanks for the help, Lewis. I owe you one for the third time today, I think. I don't know what you said to him, but after you finished, he almost immediately van, van disappeared. Really? That's suspicious. Or he had business elsewhere. It's New Year's Eve. Everybody's going somewhere. I didn't see... I didn't see her after the sh show. If I'm not mistaken, she usually leaves when everyone else has already left. What else do you know about her, Lewis? Oh, not much. What everybody knows, she was a dancer, then a backing singer, then st star, and then club owner. We found out as much already. Do you think she'd fled the Stavonian massacre? That's why the secrecy. Do you mean the massacre of the royal family? I'd say her accent is a dead giveaway, and her name too, though it's undoubtedly an alias. So it's possible that she is a part of the royal family? I d d don't think so. Nobody could have survived that hor hor awful night. Mm, you're probably right. What should we know about the place, Lewis? Besides what they're uh, dealing in there? Oh, it's an elegant and exclusive place. Not everybody visits them for, for, for that, you know. Some animals just go for c c company. Mm -mm. I see. I guess it's mostly visited by the upper class. M -m mostly, yes. The wealthy who have a taste. Yes, of course. Is it true what they say, that it's some kind of hidden stronghold of the royalists? The Nile is a proud herald of the coexistence of all the sp species, yes. But stronghold? I don't think so. But the place must be an eyesore for the separatists, right? Oh, don't, don't, don't worry for the girls, Sonny. They can defend themselves quite well. The separatists wouldn't dare to go near the place. Well, we'll see what they have to say about these two old cocks. Uh, that was a little bit, um, equivocal. 